Welcome back. Time to go into the 814. We are so excited. We've been having tons of fun. We've got Dan Evers. He's the director of Our Town. We also have Kristen Franco, who plays the stage manager, and Anne Way, who plays Emily Webb in Our Town. Yes. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming on the show, guys. Thanks Thank for having you. us. Okay, so yeah. Kristen was already telling me it takes place in New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. So how am I supposed to be saying Our Town? So the way we say it in the show is ah town. <laughs> okay, I'll have to practice ah town. <laughs> um, Dan, for people who aren't familiar with the production, yeah. what is our town about? Uh, basically, it's uh, Thornton Wilder, who's this uh, fantastic playwright, uh, wrote it in the early 1900s. And it's kind of a tribute to American life and just being present and in the moment. Uh, and it's kind of the, it's one of the great American uh, theater classics. So it's kind of this weird American absurdist play that's um, a little different than what we're used to and a little bit longer than what we're used to, but it's a lot of fun. How long are we talking? About uh, two and a half hours. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. not bad. That's that like... horrible. It, it's a lot shorter than Avatar. So. <laughs> <laughs> yes, instead of going to Avatar, go see a town. I'm, I, I gotta work on that accent a little bit. Um, and tell me a little bit about your role and what people can expect. Sure. So I play Emily Webb. Um, so there's kind of two main families in the show, the Webbs and the Gibbs. Um, and so you kind of watch uh, their children, of which I play one of them, kind of fall in love in their life and, you know, maybe what comes after. And it's, it's yeah, you kind of delve into their lives and see what happens on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah, so we're, we're living here in 2023. Are, you, are we seeing parallels or maybe something that, what I loved what you said, Dan, was kind of appreciating life a little bit more. So yeah. can you touch base on that more? Yeah, I th honestly, when I look at uh, 23, I mean, you know, especially post pandemic, all these different things that we've had going on, you know, we're so focused on getting ahead and not focusing on being present with each other. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the big message of um, this show. And I think it is a good parallel in terms of, we're always thinking about the future and, you know, I always uh, joke about my, my puppy dog, uh, Dodger, who, hi, Dodger. Uh, but, uh, you know, there's always so many moments that I just want to cuddle this guy. Aww. And then I'll think, oh, you know, I, I got to go to work or whatever. And I know there's going to come a time where he's not going to be there. Aww. And I'm going to go, why didn't I just hold on for five more minutes? You know? You're going to make me cry here. <laughs> Kristen. You are playing a role called the stage manager. Tell us yes. a little bit about that. So that's kind of part of what, like Dan was saying, it's a bit uh, of a unique way to tell a story. Um, so the stage manager, who typically in theater is uh, a backstage person, <laughs> uh, I'm actually on stage and I direct uh, a lot of the action of the show and kind of set scenes. Um, but also I feel like she really... Um, brings into perspective a lot of what the audience is seeing in these scenes, in these simple moments, and um, making them question, you know, what they're seeing. Like, is, is what they're seeing, like, just a regular day? Mm -hmm. Or is it, you know, these are the moments that, when you're looking back at your life, are what's the most mm -hmm. important and the most beautiful. Wow, I've never seen a town, <laughs> but I really want to. Also, um, what I was thinking is nothing really beats the theater and mm -hmm. seeing people just in that type of, it's so much better than the, you know, the screen or the TV. And you're, mm -hmm. you guys are performing at the historic Mischler Theater. Kristen, why should people come out to this? So I think there's a lot of reasons, honestly. Um, as you just mentioned, Rebecca, the Mischler is a gorgeous, mm -hmm historical theater a lot of cities don't have anything like that and it's so special and it's so unique to Altoona um, to have the chance to to see theater in that space is incredible also um, we have a, an amazing cast that has really poured their heart and soul into this production Dan took us through some really amazing exercises at the beginning to really make us explore the characters that we're playing and like understand what motivates them what's important to them um, and I think that we all just really believe in the message of this show and the importance. I love it. And Valentine's Day is tomorrow, so this would be a great date night. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it'll make you appreciate the one you love. Oh, yeah. There's love a beautiful it. love story in yeah. it. Yes, uh, what's the best way for people to get tickets? I think mostly through the website or the uh, just the box office phone number. Okay, yeah. yep, and we've got all those details on the screen. You can give that number a call. 
um, or just visit altoonacommunitytheater.com backslash shows. And you've got a number of different showings so people can really check it out. And can we all say it? Out town? Out town. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are great. Thank you for just keeping the arts alive and bringing these great performances to the 814. Thank, well, thank you. you. We loved having you. We've got a lot more still to come on the show. And